Thank Hi, my name is Sonny with the V Hills Handyman Services. I appreciate you taking your time to watch a short video about water heater. Uh, before you watch it, I'm just uh, show you a couple tools you might need. Uh, crescent wrench. You know, take the the main gas tube here off. The pilot gas tube there. Thermal couple here. And also turn off the main gas here as well. And I do recommend you buy some of this Teflon tape for gas. It's red. The blue is for the water. Most people don't uh, use a Teflon tape for the gas when they put the pipes back together. Um, but I do. Many water heaters that I take when I take the bur burner assembly off, no tip on tape at all. And uh, well, I I buy it and I put it on when I'm done, cause I don't want no leaks at all. Keep my customers safe. That's my number one go. And um, another thing I like to say is when you take off your uh, burner faceplate here, your burner assembly for faceplate, you know, you might need a screwdriver or Allen wrench or star, you know, or even a, a bolt, just a bolt, there's different styles holding it, so make sure you see what style you have, because if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or where, you know, wherever you go, Ace Hardware, you know, you can have all the tools ready to go. And uh, I appreciate you taking your time today visiting me here at handyman-80205.com. Or you probably found me on my other domain name, plumber-80205.com. And last but not least, my other one, vhillshandymanservices.com. So if you have any problems besides what you see on this video and your water heater is not working, feel free to give me a call. But I'm pretty sure if you follow everything on my video, it should work out pretty, pretty good for you. Plus, you have all the directions here. Take your time and read it. See, it shows you your burner assembly, your igniter assembly, you know. Shows you just, it shows you how to do it, pretty much. So, but if, you know, you don't want to touch it, you don't want to do it, you know, feel free to give me a call, Sonny V Hill. Give me a call at 720-422. Seven one and seven four. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye. Welcome. My name is Sonny with V Hills Handyman Services. Uh, today we're having a problem with the water heater. The pilot light keeps on going off. And the first thing you check when this happens is the thermal couple. You get a crescent wrench and just take you take it off. I already have it off. You just take it off. And to test it, you get a multimeter and set it for DC. You should get over 20 millivolts. So here I go. You get the red lead, you put it on the copper piece, tube here. Then you get the black lead and put out the tip of the thermal coupling. So I use this clamp here to hold the gas down because the pilot light can stay on because you want to test it with the pilot light on. So the pilot light's on right now. I don't have the type of multimeter where you can clamp it where you really, you know you can use your hands to hold it down. So I'm gonna check on get one of them that type. Well, here I go. So 
So I put the the red on the copper tube, and I put the black at, on the tip of the thermocouple. Um, it's ready in 20, 20, about 26. Nearly blows. So that's telling me that the thermal company is good. Because it's, it's over 20. Nearly blows. So now what I'm gonna check There's a heat link inside here. It's a little glass tube. I'll show it to you in a second. If they, if they melt, because it gets so too hot in there, they'll melt. And that'll turn the Thermal couple, it'll make 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 the pie light turn on. So I'm gonna take uh, these two nuts. There's two nuts on these ones. Take that off. Then I'm gonna take off the main gas tube here, and also the pilot uh, tube. Also, I'm gonna take them off and see what's going on inside here. Cause sometimes. If it's dirty in here, if your water heater is real dirty inside, your gas valve right here, or control valve, sucks in the air, you know, to keep it cool. And if it gets too hot, it'll shut down the thermal coupling and your pilot will go off. So, I'm gonna check and see what if it's dirty as well. So my best bet, since I have everything off, I'm gonna clean it with the vacuum anyway. And we're gonna check all the parts and see if everything's going okay. So I guess I'm gonna turn it off for a second until I take take these two nuts off and take the main gas tube off here and the pilot light tube here. I'm gonna disconnect all these and take these two bolts off here and pull this whole assembly out. Then I'll turn the camera back on. Uh. Okay, I'm back. I took it off. Everything's taken apart. This is a burner assembly here. And right here, sorry about that. And right here is your, your pilot assembly. Everything's in perfect shape. Everything. It's like I tested the thermocouple and that's reading over 20. So that's really great. So, and this is real a nice shape as well, the burner. It's real nice shape. So, here we go. I'm going to show you in here. It's kind of dark. Dark in there. But, see, it's dirt. It's pretty dirty in there. And I don't know, I can't get my camera to see in here. But it's real filthy in there as well. See the screen? There's a screen in, in there. Where that circle, circle is, there's a screen. That's where uh, it breathes. And I, I looked underneath, I looked underneath here, and it's plugged. It's, caked with dust so the water heater ain't breathing so what it's doing is shutting the thermal coupling right here it's shutting it off so the pilot light the pilot light's over here let me show you how how, how everything looks okay 
See, this is your igniter right here, the igniter. When you push this, that, when you push that, that's how you get your spark. You get your spark right there. Then your gas comes out of your pilot tube right here. Your gas comes out there, so when you push the igniter, that's how your pilot lights. That's why you have to hold it for about a minute, or maybe even a minute and a half. I'll show you when I turn it back on. And this is the thermal coupling here. See, it's not, it's not bad shape at all. It's not bad shape at all. So, what I have to do now is clean it out real good. And that's gonna solve the problem. That was an easy fix. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off again. This is to save you time. Uh, Cause, uh, all you have to do is clean under here real good with the vacuum. Clean it real good. Clean in here real good with the vacuum as well. And after that, we put everything back together, slide it in there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, up, cut it off, save you time. Because you don't have to watch me do all this. I'm pretty sure uh, everybody knows how to work a vacuum. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I got it all screwed back up. Everything's nice and tight. It was filthy, filthy, filthy in there. So now we're gonna turn the pie light back on. You put the top knob right here, the gas valve. It, it turns your gas off, or, or you turn it on over here on the right, and the middle's a pilot. So you put on the pilot, then you push down you hold it for a couple seconds, then you push the igniter. One, two, three. Three, three times usually does it. So I'm, I'm gonna crawl down here. Yep, it, it's on. So what you wanna do is hold it for a minute or two. I usually hold it for about two minutes. So a lot of people do it for a minute, then when they let go, they have to do it all over and start it all over again. So I'll, I'll go ahead and wait two minutes, a minute and a half or so. Then after that, you let go of it, see, like that. Then turn it to the on position. Then turn this up a little. Whoops, that's down. Sorry. There it goes. I just turned it up to make sure it went on. But I'll put it back where they had it. So. I'll put it on A. Now it's, it's on. One of them screens down there get caked with dust, lint, you know, summertime. All the wind be blowing with your doors open. All that stuff just builds up through the whole summer. And you can see right here, their, their screen right here is real filthy as well. But as you can see, you can see the cracks under here. It could get in through them cracks as well. Cause they're, see that front door is right there, not too far from here. Then they got a, a kitchen window right there. So it builds up. So it's on the on uh, it's on the on position now. The, uh, the, this one of the igniters right here. That's the igniter. That's what lights the pilot light. Some of them have them right here on the side where you push down like that. And you, this is where you set your temperature, how hot you want your water. Like I said right here, that's your on position, your pilot position, and your off position. And one more time, thermal couple. That's your main gas line for your burner. 
This is your tube for your pilot light. Right here. That's your little viewing window. That's your little viewing window you can see inside. Well, that's about it. I appreciate it. And well, one more thing. Over here. Over here we have the main gas valve. <coughs> you can turn it off when you take everything apart, your main gas. Sometimes you really don't have to because when you, when you turn it off here on top, when you turn it off here on top, gas ain't gonna come through. But if you want to be extra safe, go ahead and turn it off right there as well. So that's how you do all that. So thank you for visiting B Hills Handyman Services at handyman-80205.com. You have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Hi, this is Sonny. P. Hills Handyman Services. This is the last thing I need you to know. I'm at this customer's house now. I hope your water heater closet or your water heater don't look like this. See, look. See, they have all kinds of stuff around the van. Look at look at how dirty it is. That's a no-no stuff all, all all the way around it so please keep your water heater area clean and please clean it take time once a month you know once a month you know clean it out you know keep it clean cuz you and your family's lives are at risk. You know, if your water, water heater don't um, breathe properly, you could put you and your family lives in danger. So please, 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 do me a big favor. Make sure your water heater is cl clean, you know, the area. Well, that's about it. Thank you for taking time visiting V Hills Handyman Services. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.